Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to take a look at gold and just point out the key levels to be aware of in this market. So gold has recently been put under pressure due to the uh, sell-off in the stock market and we can see that price has just come back down and retested these weekly lows around uh, November. So you can see here, I'll just highlight this now, that the market dropped into around about that 1459 area, 1460, and it started to recover slightly. Now, if we just take a look, we can see that the market could potentially continue to move lower after a retracement phase. So the market's rallied significantly. We've pulled back into the supporting area. Now, what we can anticipate is the market to push back potentially into those 1556 highs around here so you can see there the market has found some kind of uh, resistance here in the past and support so what i'd anticipate is a short-term rally in the market with the market pushing back into these areas here and then potentially seeing some further downside from gold if we break out these lows here then i'd expect a further decline to the downside possibly back down into this 1350 area so we spoke about gold in the market wrap and it's still the same outlook the market has dropped a little bit further um, so what we can do is if we go into a four hour time frame we can look for any type of potential opportunities if the market comes back down into this area so be careful with long in gold what you may want to do is just wait for the short opportunity to form um, however you know you've got the market just slowing down into this level you can see that buyers are starting to creep back in so what i'd be looking for again is if the market drops into here wait for that pullback look for any kind of reversal patterns such as double top patterns or a failure at a previous structure high that would be a good sentiment to look for that short opportunity then on gold but keep an eye on your two zones so your resistance zone is around about that 1530 area all the way up into 1560 uh, and your supporting zone is around about 1460 to around about 1445 so keep those zones uh, on your charts put some alerts and see how the market reacts because you know we may not get that pullback it just looks likely that we are going to get that however if we do continue and start to form lower lows again on this four hour time frame i just look for uh, selling opportunities on retracements okay so keep this in your watch list i hope you enjoyed this video update and i'll speak to you tomorrow